So you may have heard or you may not have heard, but you know, if you're a LastPass customer, you probably have. LastPass is going to be doing away with the free version of LastPass in the way that you know it now. And they're going to be making you pay for all of the um, features, essentially. It's going to be a very pared down version. You only get to pick either the desktop application or the mobile application or your Chrome browser, you know, plugin, what have you. You can only use one of those. You can't use both. So I know that they're a business. I recognize that they need to make money. But for me, I just don't feel like they offer a good enough service for me to pay for it. So I'm going to migrate my stuff to Chrome. Google password manager, if you will, the, the, basically the password manager built into your Google account. You can read about it a bit, but basically Google has done a little bit of uh, updating on this and they've secured it a little better than it used to be. I'm not going to go into this too much. Everybody has their opinion about password managers. Whatever. I'm going to migrate mine to Google passwords and this is kind of how you do it. So obviously you need a Chrome browser for this and then you're also going to need to log into your LastPass account. So we're going to talk about how to enable the flag to allow importing passwords into Chrome using a CSV file. And then we're also going to talk about exporting passwords out of LastPass. So Chrome from time to time seems to disable this flag and we're going to have to go in and enable it for this particular tutorial. Otherwise, um, sometimes there are certain versions of Chrome that don't have it. You might have to look it up. And the current version of Chrome does have it in the flags, so we're good there. The other thing you need to do is log into your LastPass account by going to the actual lastpass.com site and you got to log in there because we got to export it, export your um, passwords as a CSV. And so here I am just kind of giving you a demonstration. And then we're going to go to the advanced options tab at the bottom and then there should be an export button right there. So when you click that, you're going to get a another prompt for login, which I will do. And then from there, we will have to get basically just a text dump of the of your passwords and they all just dump to the screen. So this whole section is just going to be blurred out. The important thing to note is this is basically a CSV. So you can see that it has a header at the top that tells you kind of what each section is and their comma separated values. So we just copy the whole thing and paste it into a text editor. Whatever text editor you want, I'm going to be using VS Code because that's what I do. But essentially, you got to make a text file, call it a .csv, and from there we'll be able to import it. So what we need to do here is we need to set the flag for importing first. So go to chrome.com slash slash flags. And then in the top, you can search for import and there's a password import. So then you can say enabled like that and say relaunch and that will relaunch your Chrome browser. Hooray. Then once you've done that, we'll be able to go back to the password section in settings and you should have a, me a menu now with three dots. And if you click it, there's an import button and it asks for a CSV file. So you take those passwords that you copied out of LastPass, dump them in a text editor, um, save that file as something that you'll remember and leave the header so that, well, you don't have to leave the header, I don't think, but I'm sure it's looking for a header. So probably leave the header. So save that as a .csv somewhere. And once you've saved it as a CSV, you can dip back over to the browser and you can say import. And so from here, you go grab the file you made and you click on it. And then it will hang out for a second and then bam, all your passwords will show up, hopefully. It turns out I did a little research on the back end and made sure that the formatting was the same. Uh, that was pretty important because I didn't know at first whether or not the CSV would just take. But yes, it is using a standard format. Now I will say this, what I have found in like messing with this a little bit is there are going to be some websites that don't quite line up with Google password manager versus the way they were in LastPass. 
but all your passwords are here. So theoretically, what you should be able to do is you should be able to go back through and just check the password. So you can go into settings and passwords and view the password if you run into a website that doesn't automatically autofill. And then you should be able to basically like reconfigure that particular one for the new web web URL or whatever. 90% of my passwords worked fine the first time. So hopefully they'll work for you. Maybe this is helpful. It's a pretty short video, but it, it, it was kind of tricky just to make sure that the flag is enabled and that it actually even works anymore. So thanks for watching and uh, questions or comments, leave those below.